Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So we are talking the best of the best powder foundations. Now I have been testing powder foundations flat out and I have five here in front of me that in my opinion, oh, they just completely transform the skin. So really, really lightweight, don't emphasize texture, never look powdery on the skin, give you amazing coverage and last all day long without caking or separating or melting off. These five are just phenomenal. So if you have been curious about which powder foundation is the best, and this is definitely the right place to be, let's jump into the video. Now I do have one drugstore option only. Powder foundation in a drugstore is quite limiting because usually you can only get tinted setting powders as opposed to like a really true, amazing, good coverage powder foundation. And I think that you are not going to be surprised when you know which one I have chosen as the holy grail king of them all. And it is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. Now I have spoken about this one so many times here on my channel. This actually went viral on TikTok about, I want to say about three months ago now. It is totally worth the hype. So this is a really, really amazing, smooth, buttery powder foundation that looks and feels incredible on the skin. It's got insanely good coverage. It will cover redness, darkness, any discoloration, but it also covers texture. So if you have enlarged pores, acne scarring, any bumps on the skin, somehow this goes on and it's like a filter on the skin. Your skin looks seriously airbrushed. It looks so smooth and it stays looking that way all day. I love this. I absolutely swear by it. You can use the little powder puff and I actually dropped mine and broke it and I'm so, so sad about it. Um, but you can use the little puff that comes in this to apply it if you like. I much prefer to apply a powder foundation with a big kabuki brush. So one like this. This is from my brand Nikia Joy Cosmetics. So really, really thick, dense, velvety kabuki brush and stipple all over the skin with it. Um, that is my preferred way. And it will just apply so fast. Your skin will look so perfect and seamless. Really, really big fan of this. All right, next up, I have another one that you guys have heard me talk about here on my channel, and it is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. I love this stuff. So this one's not as full coverage as the L'Oreal one. Like the L'Oreal one is like, damn, like <laughs> you're gonna cover everything with that one. This one's more of a medium coverage, but it is buildable if you are wanting to increase the coverage further. It feels so lightweight on the skin. It's so smoothing. It's so perfecting and it never looks powdery. That's something that I have noticed with a lot of powder foundations while I've been on like this journey of testing them. A lot of them can look powdery and they almost look like they're sitting on top of the skin as opposed to a liquid foundation. You know, when you buff it into the skin and it kind of like melts in and it's really seamless. A lot of the powder foundations that I tested sat on top of the skin and just looked powdery and textured all day. Um, this one looks incredibly smooth and it, you know, it blurs fine lines, it blurs pores, it blurs texture, it blurs acne scarring. And again, it stays looking that way all day. As far as shine control goes, this one is pretty good. It doesn't stay as matte as the L'Oreal, but it also doesn't apply as matte as the L'Oreal. Like when you first apply this to the skin, it still looks quite skin-like and your skin still has sort of like a satin sort of texture to it, almost like a little bit of a shine, but not. Um, so it doesn't stay as matte during the day, but like it is just beautiful. It's so natural and seamless. You will adore this one. And obviously being that it's Fenty, the shade range is incredible too. All right, next up, I have another one that again, you guys have heard me talk about plenty of times here on my channel, and it is the Too Faced Born This Way Powder Foundation. Now they call this a multi-use complexion powder because you can also use it as a concealer if you like. So this one's great because you can get really, really natural everyday coverage if you just buff it on with like a large powder brush so something like this something like big and fluffy you know dip it in and then dust it all over the skin in you know it's like a light to medium coverage or you can really build up the coverage of this one and get really amazing full coverage now again and like this applies to all of the products that I'm showing you today once it's on the skin it's so airbrushing it is so smoothing and it never looks dry and powdery I really love this one because as my oils come through during the day my skin just looks 
it's nearly like this perfect mask it's like the right amount of glowy but without being too oily it just looks so pretty and flattering on the skin it's really transfer proof so I don't find that it you know fades off anywhere during the day or anything it's just a glorious glorious foundation the Too Faced Born This Way foundation is very very well known and loved I absolutely adore the Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation and I find that I can get a very very similar appearance and finish on the skin to using the liquid version as when I do using the powder one just it is so so good really really recommend all right next up I have a powder foundation from bare minerals and this is one that I tried more recently this is the bare minerals bare pro uh, performance wear powder foundation this you guys Oh my gosh, it is absolutely incredible. So this is actually a product that you guys have been asking me to try for quite some time. And it took me a little while for me to get my hands on it and whatnot. I mean, I've got it's a huge list of products that I work my way through. Every time you request something, nine times out of 10, I will put it on the list and I will make sure that I actually test it. Uh, so this is one of those products that was very, very highly requested and it just took me a while to test. I wish that I had tried this earlier because I have been wearing it every single day since I tried it. It is a phenomenal powder foundation. So this has got insane coverage. So don't worry if you've got acne, if you've got redness, if you've got darkness, discoloration, rosacea anywhere on your face, this will absolutely cover everything up. And it does it in a way again that it, you know, you can layer it on, layer it on, layer it on. And it does it in the most flattering way. Like you can keep layering this on the skin to your heart's content and it never gets cakey and it never looks powdery. It melts into the skin and it gives you the most perfect coverage and it stays looking like that all day. Now, as far as shine control goes, you will still get dewy with this one. I don't find this one as oil controlling as some of the other formulas, but I don't care because of just how perfect it looks on the skin. And even when the shine comes through, you know, it, it doesn't separate the product. It doesn't cause it to get cakey. It doesn't split it. It doesn't cause it to melt off my skin. Like it still looks really, really incredible, but I might just need to powder up, you know, my nose or something or just through the T-zone just to get me through anything that's longer than like, say about eight hours of wear. The other awesome thing that I have noticed about this one is you can wear it really sheared out on the skin as well. So take a really big powdery brush like this one, you know, swirl it in the pan, dust it all over the skin. This is our FO2 Luxe powder brush. Yes, it will be back in stock soon. I know you guys are like waiting and waiting and waiting. All of our brushes will be back in stock soon including our brush sets which is so exciting but you know minimal coverage dust it dust it over the skin on a day when you're wanting to have more of like a natural kind of look to the skin a sort of a no makeup look or you can go in with a kabuki brush and just go to town and have the most perfect looking skin ever i love this i wish that i had tried it earlier um you guys have great recommendations amazing and then the last product that i have to show you that i absolutely adore is this one from bite beauty so this is the bite beauty change makeup flexible coverage pressed powder now this is absolutely a powder foundation but it is more on the natural side of things and i love how this looks on the skin the change maker line like all of the change maker products the primer the foundation and the powder from bite beauty are all gorgeous they're infused with really amazing ingredients there are skincare ingredients in all their products Oh, I just love this one on the skin. Now, this is a very, very natural looking powder foundation. This is not the one that you're going to go for if you've got really, you know, angry breakouts or you've got a lot of discoloration or redness or anything that you are specifically wanting to cover up. This is more of a really quick and easy powder foundation that you can chuck on the skin very quickly in the morning that's going to stay looking really nice during the day, but it's definitely more on the lower coverage side. Now, my favorite thing about this one is it allows my skin to really look look like skin and it allows me to look like I'm not really wearing a foundation but somehow my skin still looks perfect and it's got the right amount of coverage that it kind of evens everything out but that you can still see things showing through. Um, I've been really into that look lately kind of like I woke up like this kind of no makeup makeup look um, and for me this is the powder foundation that really really achieves that. It's blurring, it is airbrushing, it's really like it, it smooths your fine lines and wrinkles, it's smooths pores it just looks beautiful on the skin um but without looking like you've actually put 
anything on the skin, if that makes sense. <laughs> I really love how this one looks. It does add a nice tint of color to the skin as well. Nothing over the top though. So I would recommend, you know, if you do have some breakouts and you are still wanting to, you know, look really polished and put together, just pop some concealer on the breakouts and then dust this on the skin. Again, you can use a kabuki, you can use like a larger powder brush, anything will really work. Pop this on the skin and you'll have like really amazing, perfect looking skin, but without looking like you've really put anything on. <laughs> now I will quickly touch on all of these powder foundations with me being an oily skin type. I still do powder down with a translucent setting powder. I obviously use our Nakia Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder. Um, but yeah, just because it's a powder foundation doesn't mean that you don't have to powder. You do still have to powder if you're looking for, you know, insane longevity and you're really, really going for shine control. Just wanted to quickly mention that because I feel like a lot of people think that if it's a powder foundation, it means you don't have to use a setting powder. You still do. <laughs> but there you go, guys. Those were my top five powder foundations. I honestly love all of them. And don't you worry, I'm going to be continuing testing heaps of other ones as well. I would love to know in the comments, what is your favorite powder foundation? I know a lot of you really like more mineral-based formulas, and I would like to try some more mineral-based formulas. I actually get a lot of requests to try Thin Lizzy. Um, it's like a mineral powder foundation and apparently it's really, really good, but I've actually never tried it. So let me know your recommendations down in the comments. And I hope that today's video was helpful. If you've got any more questions about any of these or about how to, you know, apply and wear a powder foundation, please pop them down below. I'll be sure to answer those questions for you. And yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. All right, guys, I love you heaps. I will catch you all in my next one. Have an amazing day. I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.